So, today I've seen that I actually fucked up a bit. I thought that I'm having an episode left for today because I have actually also forgotten about work today and I was called. People didn't really like it. Um, at least people that actually shouldn't care about it too much, you know, they cared about it quite a bunch. But still, anyway, um, I thought I'd have an episode left, but I don't kind of used everything that I've had. So today this is going to be an episode without any video. And on YouTube, this is going to be underperforming like crazy shit. But anyway, you know, I just do not care at this point. Let's actually go through some Reddit things and have a nice, quick and easy episode. In less than four years, I went from a guy unable to walk a few miles with mild obesity to running a hundred K M or kilometers, which is for all folks that needed a mice, 62.14 miles, which is, you know, quite something. Not gonna say it is not. Anyway, a journey with constant setbacks, self-doubt and doubting from everybody else. But I had a dream of becoming one of the toughest versions of myself. And guess what? We can too. You can too. I can too. It just takes a lot of effort and also motivation and also a reason why to do so. More background. I was diagnosed with aphasia due to early deafness that was later fixed. And they told me learning a single language would be a great difficulty. Now I speak three languages fluently. Well, actually, I should uh, read the whole one because... Well, I'm probably not going to do anything else today. <laughs> anyway, I think it is a bunch of motivation for everybody that might be in a place they do not really like, you know, they might feel a bit behind, you know, compared to everyone else. Even though we all know comparing oneself to somebody else is really dumb because there are so many variables in life, there are so many things in life that we also can't change that it is dumb. And it doesn't make any sense. Like, no single person is going to be like you and should be compared to you. Anyway, I was incredibly weak-minded less than four years ago. Depressed and becoming obese, a single word could scatter my life or shatter my life and hurt me for weeks. People always doubted and would even love at me, love at my journey of weight loss when you don't even believe it. What? When you don't even believe it yourself and also other people don't, then that became my mindset. With constant setbacks and complete failures in my weightless journey, I genuinely believed that I was so weak that it was generally impossible to lose the excess weight. It was impossible not for me. More background. I was diagnosed with aphasia due to early deafness that was later fixed. They told me learning a single language would be a great difficulty. Now I speak three languages fluently. I was severely bullied at school. Bullying led to severe depression. Eventually, at the age of 20, my depression led to its peak, where I would then try to end my life. That then led to me wanting to try to be better Want to try to better my life, not because I thought it would get better, but to validate my next attempt that I wasn't meant to be here. But the opposite happened to me. Which is actually a strangely and, well, yeah, strangely accurate, well, um, a, a strangely scientifical approach to just ending your life, I would say, you know? Just validating that there is no reason. And actually, you know, making sure that there is a reason. Like, okay, I make sure that there is a reason to end my life, which in which is like seeing whether I can actually be better than I am. This could have gone horribly wrong as well, you know. But still, you know, kind of strange. A normal winter cold night occurred in early 2018. I scrolled through YouTube and by pure chance, I stumbled upon a video by Billy Jang. B-I-L-L-Y-Y-A-N-G, named along the lines, Why Run 100 Miles? That video itself transformed my life. I fell in love with running without ever setting a single foot on a pavement. Ever since then, it has become an obsession to want to experience such a beautiful moment in life. I lost my weight in 13 months. 
so 30 plus kilograms, which are, you know, let me, um, 75 pounds, something like that. Let's see, uh, 66 pounds. Well, never mind. Uh, I went and trained for my marathon within 10 months. Less than a year later, I ran my first ultra distance of 63.3 kilometers to running my first ultra, eight to nine months later, of 100 kilometers, before even my weight loss and finding myself. Before even my weight loss. You know, you lost weight. I don't really get it. Um, 63 kilometers are 40 miles, somewhat, you know, not exactly, but somewhat, just to let you know. A lot of people will doubt you. People will want to put you down and put boundaries that aren't set in reality. I got sick less than two weeks before my ultra and recovered without any symptoms before the race. However, I was still a lot weaker than my peak fitness. I was projected to finish top 10 to 20 in the race before getting sick. I wanted to quit so bad because I didn't believe that I could run 100 kilometers in my shape. Everyone was telling me that run that to run a 100k is crazy to begin with. However, in my shape, that is more so than crazy. But my mindset these days is that if you ever tell yourself or anyone else that you're gonna do something, that you have to see it through no matter what. There would have been no way I would have quit without having a genuine reason. And when I genuinely thought that I couldn't finish, then let me try and run a 100k and fail spectacularly. I lived a life with broken promises, constant lies to myself and others. However, in this reality, in this life that I live now, I want to give my maximum effort to anything I pursue. Doesn't have to be anything, by the way. I, at my point of view, think that this is quite unnecessary, you know. And there's no reason why one should be doing that. We are all good at something, but we do not have to be good at everything. Halfway to the 100k race, I was in pain. I was barely running. My lowest placement went down to 158 of 258 out of runners. I was climbing this mountain. Is it raining? I don't know. The race started at midnight. I'm sorry, I was climbing the mountains. The race started at midnight. It was around 8 a.m. now. It was going to be one of the hottest days that day. I was dreading it badly. First, halfway first half was done in perfect condition with three out of four of the climbing that was waiting ahead of me. I knew it was going to be 10 times worse. What? I knew it was going to be 10 times worse in front of me. 10x times worse in front of me. Well, never mind. It's actually written in a way that makes it quite difficult to read, by the way. At least for me and in, in my current condition and mood and whatnot. I know these low moments. I know how to control my emotions and hormones. So in that hormones? So in that moment, I listened to some David Goggins because that is one of the ways I know I can activate my uh, adrenal glands. In that split second, I went from a person wait wanting to quit to sprinting up this small mountain, leaving my bodies that I have been suffering with for many hours. The amount of adrenaline that I received would continue to nearly over the finish line. I kept pushing. I was running in incredible uh, hostile temperatures now. Runners that I continuously passed by cheered me on seeing my efforts being displayed. I kept attacking these mountains with speed and momentum. However, the very last climb nearly broke me and that was when the adrenaline was completely gone. The last 10k or kilometers was driven by a complete power of will, overcoming myself and my emotions. My sprint church searches were so powerful in that moment, but it left me vulnerable to the brutal heat. My legs began shutting down, mainly due to the lack of soul that I had, but with no aid stations, with nothing on me, I was going to be all out, uh, all out logs from this on. My legs couldn't run. Until that point, I was... Uh, until that point, I must have had about 2.5 kilometers left and... A man ran by seeing him suffer as much as me and that he still found the strength to run made me want to run as well. It was hard, my right leg was given up. I knew I could finish by simply walking, but if there is one mindset with ultras that I have is that I do not want to survive. I want to thrive in it. People were cheering me on left and right. I was focused on the goal of finishing now while running. The more I ran, the faster I went until I saw the finish line 
that is when I began sprinting with whatever speed that I could give. I felt my right leg being at the breaking point, but I didn't care. I finished at top 44. This is me deciding to be better. I hope it will help some people in their journey. Or with that journey. Next year I will challenge myself twice as much and hopefully it will motivate you to start as well. If there is one thing I know for sure is that motivation isn't needed. In fact, I'm not motivated for the most part. However, I am an incredibly disciplined person. These days I have become a local legend around my area and inspired people in person and done interviews as well. The best part is helping others in their journey of bettering because if a person is so fucked as me can do it, then so can you. Here is to bettering ourselves. And with that being said, gonna see you the next time.